everybody welcome back to the channel now in this video i'm going to talk about how if i lost my cyber security job today how i would rebuild my career in the ai age so no fluff no false hope just a real step-by-step -step plan for rebuilding my career and staying relevant in this age of ai so if you're worried about things like you know automation ai and your skills becoming outdated this video is for you if you've been following this channel then you know i've been talking about how ai is changing cyber security and the jobs that are going away and the jobs that are being created so i wanted to create this video to really you know recap everything and give you uh, like a master class in what to do where to go and where all my previous information is also stored uh, if you're new to the channel my name is tamarish lal i've been in cyber security for the past 20 years and i'm a senior security consultant with aws and i made this channel to basically give advice on cloud security ai and general cyber security careers so please do like and subscribe to this channel to stay updated so let's get started okay so what am i talking about here like i said how I would pivot within cybersecurity if I got laid off today. Now, this is easily the most common question I'm being asked on my YouTube channel on, on LinkedIn because a lot of people are worried within cybersecurity, people who have been working for many years, but they feel that a lot of tasks are getting automated and the speed at which AI is evolving, that is really making them scared. And this is, you know, if you're worried about it, then that's very smart. Given the pace at which companies, you know, management is pushing, uh, like management to adopt AI boards are pushing like uh, CEOs to replace IT workers with AI. I have seen it myself, you know, even in London, you can see on the tube, like, like it, these jobs, like AI can de do these jobs and all that, you know, so there's a very, some of it is hype, but some of it is a very, very real worry about how quickly AI is adapting and how it's taking over like jobs which previously we thought that would not be it cannot be taken over right i mean if you're following all the big tech microsoft had a massive round of layoffs and it's happening again so uh, there's a lot of uncertainty within the industry unfortunately right now we used to think that cyber security was immune to layoffs but unfortunately that's not true anymore so that's why it's always good to have a plan that's why you should know what to do and how to be ready so what would i do if i got like a bad news that i'm being laid off and you can use this as a roadmap for yourself also so first thing i would do i would not go crazy yeah if i got laid off it would be very depressing you know everybody ego take a hit your ego takes a hit and you know self-doubt am i good enough maybe i don't like deserve to be in cyber security all those questions everybody asks please do not stay in this like uh, rot for like more than 48 hours and one thing very important do not go crazy do not go jump onto linkedin and start applying like crazy that is also a big mistake but at the same time don't go like a comatose and just go go to sleep for like 48 hours just remember that the cyber security industry is changing it's evolving right so it's not going away the industry is not dying that will never happen there is massive demand for cyber security professionals who can work with ai secure ai systems and adapt to automation and if you need to look at that you can check out my video the cyber security industry is changing i'm going to put a link to all my videos below so it's step by step you can take a look at it you can have this playlist so remember this please do not if you ever get the bad news that you're being laid off in cyber security don't go like first of all don't panic and start applying to everybody start whatsapping people calm down have like let the information absorb first okay and then have a proper game plan for what you would do okay now the second thing i would do i would definitely ruthlessly like audit my skill set i would take a very honest inventory of my skills i would ask myself three questions how much of my current job can ai do right now so what was i doing was i like what caused me to be replaced by ai was it was i l1 sock analyst whose only job was to you know closing jira tickets or something like that once the alert was resolved writing basic reports following playbooks without doing any analytical thinking if that was the case then yeah it makes sense unfortunately that my job was taken over by ai then i would ask do i have skills in ai relevant areas you know things like ai risk management ai threat modeling gen ai security ai governance cloud native security if no then yeah time to fix that asap i need to get those skills immediately and thirdly i would ask do i have any visible proof of my expertise if is everything that i know is it tied up with my job that is it all on my resume is it something outside do i have proof of my expertise on linkedin or github or medium or youtube anyway TikTok. i don't care any place outside my job 
where I can show and point people towards that, right? So th that these are my skills and this is my brand. So these are the two things I would, three things I would do. I would audit my skill set. I would check what AI relevant skills I have. And third, I would check, do I have any proof of my expertise? If I have that, if you want to know like which cybersecurity skills will not be applicable, check this video out, which I made that these cybersecurity rules are doomed, which are the cybersecurity rules that will get impacted first. So please do check that right now. Third, now I have recovered. Now I have done an audit. What do I do next? The third thing I would do is I would pick a pivot lane. I would not go like uh, I would try to learn everything. Okay, I would learn AI governance, learn Gen AI security, learn this risk management framework, learn the UI act. No, no, I would choose a specific direction first because like I said before, AI is disrupting generic cyber security roles, but specialized high impact roles are still in demand. So if I had to pick one, I would go all in one of these. I would take a look at AI threat modeling. You know, uh, I've talked about this before, but companies are desperately looking for people who have skills to help them mitigate risks in their AI pipelines, you know, like large language models, retrieval augmented generation, agentic AI. If you don't know what these terms are, don't worry. AI governance and compliance is also in demand, you know, with the EUAI Act, the NIST AI Risk Management Framework. Agentic AI is people, companies are adopting it like crazy and they want people who know how to secure them. AI red teaming, uh, you know, ethically hacking AI models, uh, like things like prompt injection, adversarial attacks, cloud security architecture for AI workloads. As I've said many, many times before, uh, no company wants to put AI on-prem. Simply put, AI needs so much data, so much processing power it only makes sense to put these things within uh what, what do you call it? on the cloud so a cloud security skills will remain relevant and if you want to like really take a look at it check this video of mine which is the cyber security roles are the future in these i talk about which cyber security roles will be very very relevant within the ai era so okay so this is what i would do i would choose a pivot lane I would choose which area I want to specialize in fast. Okay, so now once I've chosen a pivot lane, what I would do, I would start to build a public proof. You know, like they say, now when you're launching a company, like you need a minimum minimum viable product. Well, here I'm talking about minimum viable experience. Just putting AI on my CV is not enough. Every every Tom, Dick, and Harry is doing that nowadays. You go to every LinkedIn profile on cyber security every guy has now put i am an ai leader i am an ai security expert and all that right and i'm not like making fun of them that's wonderful but you need proof of that what, what proof do you have that you have ai security experience right so this is where projects come in and i talked about it last week also i would publish one ai security focused product this does not have to be uh, like uh, perfect it just need to exist and be visible so for example if you if i'm pivoting within threat modeling i would publish an ai threat model for a fake chatbot application share it on linkedin share it on github i would if i'm thinking about grc i would create an ai governance checklist for iso 42001 or maybe the nist or maybe eu if i look in ai agentic ai engineering then i would think about maybe like you know tutorial on youtube how to apply guardrails to bedrock gen ai maybe red team i would document a prompt injection test show how, how i'm doing prompt injection right why am i doing this why is the cv not enough because one thing when you put these things on your profile on linkedin and share information around it you will attract traffic to your profile so instead of you going to recruiters recruiters might be coming to you because like I said, there is a massive demand for AI security talent and this will set you apart and you will get a talking point. You will get an advantage over other interviews. I have seen many, many times like people have reached out to me simply because I write on Medium or LinkedIn because that will set you apart. 90% of the time I've seen people, they copy paste from chat GPT. They write something or they, their comments or their stories. So believe me, that gets that gets noticed very, very fast. Everybody is able to tell that you're copy pasting from chat GPT. People who are actually genuinely sharing their knowledge, they are actually the ones who are standing out. So these are the ones I would look at building a public proof of my AI security skills. And if you are still like trying to understand what to do, this is I would recommend looking at this video in which I talk about which are the AI security projects you should focus on depending on your career. And now, now that I have this, this is when I would start to apply smartly, not mass applying, not just every job that is coming on to my LinkedIn, I'm just applying like crazy. No, I wouldn't shotgun apply to 100 general roles. I would target companies 
who are actively hiring for AI security positions, you know, cloud providers, AI startups, Gen AI consultancy, cyber security firms who are now pivoting into AI risk management. I would tailor application to highlight my AI security pivot, like how I have moved to AI security, my hands-on projects and my thought leadership. Because why? Because these are the three things that will make you stand out from the other CVs. Other people will be focusing on certifications and their experience, which is all important. I'm not knocking them. But these three things, your how you've moved into AI security, your hands-on projects and your thought leadership. These are the things you would uh, that will make you stand out. And a lot of people do ask me, OK, man, I'm doing this. I don't have a job right now. I need money to keep the, you know, to keep the bills paid. So I would definitely look at freelancing contract JC, you know, things like Upwork or Fiverr. A lot of times I've seen there are jobs there. Uh, you can start applying there and try to get some uh, testimonials on your profile this way also. So definitely look at that. And lastly, okay, let's assume you've done all that, but still you're not getting a job. Okay, l let's assume that. I don't, uh, I want to be realistic. Maybe you've been applying for two, three months, nothing has happened. I would launch my own thing. I would not wait around if I don't have a job. I would start offering micro consulting services, you know, like small, small consulting services, reach out to people on LinkedIn which and offer to do AI risk assessments, maybe doing training workshops, maybe launch a small low cost SaaS tool, you know, using Vibe Coding. If you are not familiar with Vibe Coding, I've just launched a, like a small course on Udemy also because definitely uh, cyber security solopreneurship is now very much possible because of AI. I know so many people who are just one person and they have managed to launch com in complete companies. Why? Because they've automated everything using AI. So if everything else is not working, okay, you're not getting the responses. And if you don't, do not wait for somebody to reach out to you, launch your own thing. Believe me, I'm saying, I'm not saying you'll become a millionaire overnight, but you will have, you start to build and start to see that momentum. Okay, I have a complete newsletter on this. You can check that out about the cyber security solo and I and in that I have been completely honestly sharing what I have done like my side hustles and you know things I've tried to do to see how people can like do things outside their nine to five job. So do check that out if that helps you to like you know like move the things forward and you're so not you're not just depressed checking your emails all the time that did anybody respond to my job application right do that and final thoughts final thoughts which i really want to stress upon that you don't need to become a phd in machine learning you don't need to know everything about ai nobody knows everything about ai just pick one lane and build one project and make yourself visible believe me you will see traction happening on your profile and you will see people reach out to you. it'll take time it won't happen overnight be consistent and you will see the changes happening so these were the things i wanted to talk about uh, guys Unfortunately, layoffs are very much a thing, but these are the, this is the exact strategy I would use. No BS here. This is definitely what I would do. I assume that I have not talked about things like using your network and all that because that is uh, that you would be doing anyways, right? But this this is the strategy that I would use to pivot within cybersecurity in the age of AI. I hope this was useful to you. Please do like and subscribe and share this video if you found it useful. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.